Hey New Hope, I'm Pastor Anna and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I hope you're able to get out and enjoy the beautiful days that we're supposed to have this weekend. It's May 1st, which means that spring is in full swing. Things are green and coming up and flowers are starting to bloom. It also means that summer is right around the corner, which is exciting. And for some of us, it means that we are starting to think about planting our garden. Uh, I grew up with a mother who loved to garden. She had flowers everywhere, in the front of her house, in the back of her house. We had a huge garden on the side of our house that was all mostly flowers, some vegetables, but she loved her flowers. I, for one, really enjoy uh, gardening, like a vegetable garden and an herb garden. I do have flowers in the front and back of my house, but I really enjoy growing fresh produce that I can put on my family's kitchen table. And from my experience and just those those couple years that I've been doing it and growing up with a mother who loved to garden, I can tell you that gardening takes work and it takes a little bit of strategy. You need to make sure that you plant when it's warm enough. You need to make sure that you're putting your plants in a spot that's going to get enough sunlight. Uh, you want to make sure that your soil is good and you want to make sure that your plants get uh, a proper amount of watering. No water makes for dead plants. Um, so there's also weeding that needs to be done and there's some plants that need to be pruned and uh, need to be shown which direction to grow in. So there's there's some work that needs to be done. A garden really does take a gardener to help it to produce a good harvest at the end of the season. Each year when I am planting my garden, the Lord always reminds me that our life is like a garden. It requires certain things to grow properly and it requires a gardener. Just like a garden without a gardener, it's untamed, it's wild, there's weeds everywhere, it produces little to no fruit, and it's going to die. Just like our life without God, it can be reckless, dangerous, producing little to no fruit, and it will eventually lead to death. Our life needs a relationship with the Lord. It needs time spent in prayer, in worship, in reading His his book, his, his word. All of those things lead to a healthy life. But in order to produce good fruit, we need to the, the spirit to be working in our life constantly. In Galatians 5.22, it says, But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Just as a gardener takes time to remove weeds that can choke the life out of the plants, so does the Holy Spirit take time to remove fruits of the flesh. And in Galatians verses, uh, chapter 5, verses 19, 19 through 21, it tells us that some of those things are impurity, jealousy, idolatry, fits of anger, sexual immorality, and it goes on to list others. The Holy Spirit takes those things of the flesh and removes them and replaces them with the fruits of the Spirit. And just as the gardener takes time to, to care and tend and water his plants so that they produce good fruit, so does the Holy Spirit take time to care and tend to us so that we produce the fruits of the Spirit, not the fruits of the flesh, so that we produce good fruit in our life. And at the end of a plant's life, um, having spent time in the gardener's care, at the end of the season, it will produce a great harvest. And just as we reach the end of our life, we want to be able to look back and see that we have also produced a great harvest because we have known our gardener, because we have known our Lord and personal Savior, Jesus Christ. I just want to challenge you guys a little bit. I want you to examine your life and ask yourself, what kind of fruit am I producing? Am I producing fruits of the spirit or am I producing fruits of the flesh? What is most consistent and constant in my life? God has given us a great tool in Galatians 5 to be able for us to measure our life upon so that we know 
where we're going. What way is the right way? What way is, is not right? What's the way of the spirit of being in relationship with me? And what's the way of your own earthly desire? So take a look at your life because we want to be people that are producing good fruit. We want to be able to look back and, and measure our life and see that we have produced a great harvest at the end of our life. We want to be able to hear those words, well done, good and faithful servant. Let me pray for you before we go. Dear God, thank you for every single person that is watching this video, Lord. I just pray that uh, you continue your work in us, God, that you would continue um, having the Holy Spirit remove those fleshly desires, those fleshly fruits, God, and that you would continue to produce in us good fruit, God, that, that we would be people of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, that we would be um, faithful, that we would have self-control, and that we would be gentle, God. Lord, I pray that you bless every single person that's listening to this. Lord, bless New Hope. God, be with us every step of our, our day and um, help us to actively seek you at every moment. We love you, God, and in your name I pray. Amen. New Hope, I hope you have a great weekend. Make sure you tune in on Sunday morning for our Sunday morning services. Bye.